Yeah, so welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to install a golf washer and club cleaner. Uh, now, I bought this a long time ago. I will leave the link below. It's like seven years old. But the main problem with this is always been very, very um, not stable. So basically I put it on the ground and it's always been a little shaky like that. So what I'm actually going to do today, uh, I'm going to put concrete on the ground. That way, it would, uh, it will, hopefully, it will stay stable. Now, uh, before I do this, I want to tell you that I tried it before, and I used the wrong mixture, and it didn't work. It came off. So now I got the right mixture. Okay, so this is what I'm using right now, and basically, all I gotta do is just mix this with water, and then it should solidify. So basically I'm going to make it deep enough where this could sit a little bit on the bottom and then fill it in. Okay, so now it should fit perfectly. I'm going to put a little bit of a mixture on the bottom and then I'm going to place the, the pole there. So just a little mixture there and place this. Okay, so press that on there a little bit like this, and now I'm going to fill it in all the way. Now that is fill in I'm gonna put some uh, pieces of wood around it so I can form the little structure a little square around it and then put more mixture in it Okay guys, there we are. I'm done. Um, I checked the weather, uh, the forecast. It's not supposed to rain, but it just got cloudy. So I hope it doesn't rain. I may put something on top here just to make sure water doesn't get to it. I can already tell that the mixture is better than the one I used before. So I'm hoping that this should do the job. All right, so it's been about seven, eight hours now, and you can see that it's already, it's hard now. Um, I'm gonna keep spraying it with water every like four, six hours, and then I'm gonna wait till tomorrow and see if it's, if I can remove this, the uh, wood parts, but it's already hard. It's quite, it, it came out pretty good actually. All right guys, so this is day two. Uh, you can see that it's fully, it's not fully cured because it's going to take, uh, to be fully cured, I think they say like 30 days, but it's already hard. So I can remove the, the wooden parts from here. And, uh, and then I will keep spraying it probably. 
for the next couple of days. But as you can see, it's, um, it's already hardened. All right guys, so job done. I painted it, um, I added a new towel. This right here is dry. I'm really happy with this product. The mixture is perfect. I will uh, leave the link below. It's really, really strong. It's not shaking anymore. I need to just fix this, secure it a little better to the rod, but the actual metal rod in the ground is not moving. Before, it, it, it literally rocked like this. So I can clean my golf balls here very easily. I can uh, also clean my clubs. So I have like a little cleaning station here where I can uh, clean my golf clubs and balls. So definitely happy with it. Uh, it's very handy to have it next to my simulator, close to my green. And this is a way that, uh, that I will go about it if you're trying to uh, install a golf cleaner. I wouldn't deal with it, just put it on the ground without any concrete. I tried it for many years and it's just, eventually it just starts rocking and then uh, you're not gonna get this stability right here. So I'm definitely happy with the product, this mixture right here. Actually, um, I will probably do all the projects with it because it's definitely, it's really, really hard. I mean, it's hard concrete, it works. Uh, I tried all the mixtures that it didn't work. So now I have a lot of other projects in mind that I can use for my backyard shed. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.